Oh no, another forest has been cut down to build a town. Humans can't keep cutting trees like this. Well, that's an issue we will address in today's episode by answering a crucial question. What if all trees were cut down? Zoom in! Trees are a lifeline, not only because they produce paper, timber and chewing gum, but because they serve an important role in the oxygen cycle, food chain and even serve as a shelter for many living beings, including humans. But sadly, we often treat trees as something to be harvested for economic gain or as an inconvenience in the way of human expansion. Yes, you won't believe, but since humans began practicing agriculture around 12,000 years ago, we have chopped down nearly half of the world's estimated 5.8 trillion trees, leaving us with only 3 trillion of them at this point in time. That's not it. Even today, we are cutting down 15 billion trees each year. And if we continue at this rate, trees will go extinct in the next 200 years. Once that happens, life as we know it today will take a tragic turn and the world will remain nothing but a barren wasteland. So, to avoid this scenario, let's travel into the future and imagine this dystopian Mad Max style world in which all trees on earth were cut down to help us appreciate just how lost we would be without them. If all trees were cut down, almost all animal species that live in the forest will slowly start to go extinct. The remaining ones will have no choice but to feed on the dead timber and leaves to survive. But soon, nearly 99% of the trees lying on the floor will start rotting and will release 35 billion tons of CO2 which eventually will pollute our air. Because of this, even humans won't be able to survive as this air won't be suitable for breathing. If anything, people would have to invent gas masks that filter the little oxygen that would be left in the air coming from microorganisms like phytoplankton. Do check out our video on the same topic afterward. If the filthy air hadn't already wiped out everybody, then wait until deforestation starts to show its damaging effect on the soil. Yes, trees help prevent soil erosion and maintain its quality for agriculture. Without trees, soil erosion would become more prevalent and eventually all the soil will lose its fertility and agriculture will fail. As a result, people will have nothing to eat and would starve. Not only that, but the Earth's climate would also be drastically changed in the long run. Yes, that's because trees mediate the water cycle by acting as biological pumps. They draw water from the soil and deposit it into the atmosphere by converting it from liquid to vapor. By doing this, forests contribute to cloud formation and rainfall. At the same time, trees also control flooding by trapping water. So, if old trees are cut down, formerly green areas would become drier and more prone to extreme droughts. When the rain did come, flooding would be disastrous. Massive erosion would impact oceans, suffocating coral reefs and other marine habitats. Coastal regions and islands would lose their borders to the ocean and many would be washed away. In short, most of the land will submerge under the ocean. In addition, 
Trees also have a cooling effect on our environment as they absorb heat and channel energy from solar radiation into converting liquid water into vapor. So, without trees, our already lifeless planet will head towards a catastrophic global warming and will remain nothing but a lump of mud in the universe. Trivia time! Did you know global tropical forest loss averaged 3.36 million hectares or 8.3 million acres a year? Yes, this is an area larger than Belgium and it's a matter of concern for the future of this world. Hope you learned something important today. And before I zoom out, always remember that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So, plant a tree! Mm, mind it. <laughs>